Hi guys, so today's video is going to be shorter and lighter than last week's. Uh, it's going to be called Highlights of Living with Autism, and when I say highlights, I basically mean, I call them perks. Because in no way is autism a gift, and I would never sit here and say that. So I would say a few perks of having autism. Uh, so let's get into what those are. So one is, um, I have a very good memory for facts and details, names, dates. Because I'm a very detail-oriented person, which I think is a perk, I think I get a bit of a different view of the world than other people. I think I see details, I can remember names, and dates and facts and useless information very easily, uh, which is great in school. I rarely ever studied for tests and exams, I usually just showed up, because the information was already in my brain somewhere. Uh, so in that regard, I have a, I, um, that's, def that's a definite perk. I never got anxious around tests and exams. Um, I used to say overall intelligence, but I wouldn't say that anymore because I come from a family of smart people who value intelligence. I grew up being taught to watch the news, to see what's going on in the world, to read books. So I can't sit, I might, I, you know, I can't sit here and say that Asperger's makes me smart. I think you can be an airhead and have Asperger's. So, I would not say that anymore. I would say specifically uh, my good memory for facts and my amazing memory around my special interest. And I would say my special interest is a bit of a perk because of how easily I can get joy. I can Google a picture of conjoined twins and stare at it for 10 minutes because I'm enjoying the details of what I'm seeing. So, I don't think other people can necessarily get joy that easily, so that's definitely a perk. Uh, and this next bit is really good for people who are maybe thinking of hiring someone on the spectrum. We like rules. If you tell me no phone, you won't see my phone. If I have to start at this time and leave at that time, I will not be showing up half an hour late and leaving an hour early. And so, you know, disregarding the social deficits, those factors can make us very good employees. And uh, we, I don't like, this is maybe just me, I don't know if this is all Aspies, but... I don't want to get in trouble. I want to be working. I, you're not going to see me fiddling and twiddling my thumbs. I have a feeling a lot of Aspies would be like that because it goes under the whole rules thing. And the rules thing applies to broader life. A lot of us are social justice warriors is one term I've heard used, which I discovered recently. I always just thought that was me from growing up in a liberal family. But uh, the reality is we don't like when things are unfair. We want to fix everyone's problems. And uh, that's definitely a perk to me. I will never understand, <coughs> excuse me, I will never understand people who are taught or think that people are better or worse than each other. Everyone's equal. And there's definitely a factor of growing up in a liberal family. I see no reason you couldn't be conservative and Aspie. But for me, I grew up in a liberal family. So to add on top of the fact that we apparently like uh, social justice, Definite perk. Um, and I touched on details a little bit in the beginning there when I talked about my good memory for facts and names. And that also applies visually. I think I see things in maybe a little bit of a different way. Uh, I definitely um, am much better at remembering details than the big picture. I can walk into an office and see a small picture has moved from the desk to the windowsill. And I haven't been there in six months. Uh, that's, that's a thing that happened. So I have this amazing memory for, um, like I said, details, and I see things, I see details, and I think I see patterns and get joy out of looking at things that other people wouldn't consider. Uh, two good examples of that. I love uh, cleaning commercials where it was like a dirty layer and then they run a sponge through it. Sorry. And you get that perfect like line of clean. Oh, I love the way that looks. I love the way that looks. And stairs. I will actually Google old staircases to look at pictures. Modern staircases are boring because they're all uniform. But I love looking at old ones. They can be narrow, steep, really weirdly twisted and bendy. And I guess the fact that I like history probably helps. But I just like looking at the pictures as they go different weird staircases. Like who Google, who Google staircases? So. Um. And, would there be anything else? Organization. And this is probably a combination. This, some of this is probably just me, because I'm sure you can be asked being disorganized at the same time. 
So I'm sure some of this is just me, but I'm very organized. Everything has a place. I like putting everything in its place. I think that could be partly why I was incorrectly diagnosed with OCD. Because everything has to be in a place, but it doesn't cause me anxiety. It makes me calm to know that every time I go in my bedroom, everything is going to be in the same place. Everything is going to be where I know I, where I put it. I enjoy organizing. I'm constantly, even on my computer, I can pull up any random picture out of thousands because everything's dated and labeled. Uh, so if there's any degree of autism contributing to that, that's definitely a perk. Um... Yeah, so I think I'm going to wrap that up, because unfortunately there's a lot more downsides than upsides, and actually, my initial plan was to make one video of highlights and lowlights, but I've got so much now for lowlights that it's going to be two videos on its own, so this video is just uh, highlights or perks as I've been calling them, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that after last week's heavy video. Thank you.